classes are growing and the children seem to love it. They're learning the rudiments of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at the International Combat and Exercise Centre, or ICE, in Tunbridge. Their teacher, a third-degree black belt, trains them to fall without getting hurt. He teaches them how to defend themselves on the ground, how to thwart an attack. Some of the children are as young as four. First, we do some warm-ups. Um, and then we learn some techniques. I do judo at every Tuesday at school. I do this only on Saturdays because I'm at school on Mondays. If someone gets you down on the floor, you have to get them down and defend yourself so you don't get hurt. Over four, we do. Under four is not very good. Not a good idea. And, and, and why would that be? Do they learn more then? Yeah, over four, yeah. The children like play on the ground, yeah. They like have fun. If they don't have fun, they don't be back. And the, the most, the, the movement is on the ground. They, they enjoy. The children's classes are the idea of the center's owner, Lee Banda, a black belt in several martial arts. You've got um, theatrical martial arts, then you've got functional, and they're very different. And um, we, we teach the functional, and um, we don't really uh, teach the children to um, learn to fight. We teach it more as a discipline and, and uh, for confidence. Classes in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu are being organized for adults too. 95% of the work is done on the ground with arm and leg locks and choke holds. As for the children, they just can't wait for the next time. John Ryle in Tunbridge for Meridian Tonight. John Ryle in Tunbridge for Meridian News.